Ant mating is an intricate and highly coordinated process that takes place primarily during an event known as the nuptial flight. This flight is a crucial reproductive event where winged males and virgin queens, known as allets, leave their home colonies en masse. These flights are triggered by specific environmental cues such as warm temperatures and high humidity, often following a rainstorm, which create ideal conditions for mating. Ant mating is a highly structured and fascinating process that typically occurs during a specific event known as the nuptial flight. During this flight, winged males and virgin queens, also called allets, leave their respective colonies in large numbers. This synchronized exodus usually happens under particular environmental conditions, such as warm temperatures and high humidity, often following a rainstorm. The nuptial flight serves the purpose of reducing inbreeding by ensuring that ants from different colonies come together to mate. Once airborne, males and females from various colonies meet and engage in mating mid-flight. The male ants are attracted to the queens by pheromones, chemical signals emitted by the females. These signals ensure that males can locate and mate with the queens. During the nuptial flight, allets from different colonies converge, reducing the risk of inbreeding and promoting genetic diversity. Males, drawn by pheromones released by the queens, seek out and mate with them mid-air. These chemical signals are crucial as they guide males to the queens, ensuring successful mating encounters. The male's sole purpose is to mate, and they usually die soon after fulfilling this role. Post-mating, the newly fertilized queens, now called gynes, descend to the ground to start new colonies. They shed their wings, a significant act that symbolizes their transition from potential reproductives to colony founders. This wing shedding is essential for the next life stage. The gyne then searches for a suitable site to establish her colony. Using the sperm stored in her spermatheca, an internal organ designed for long-term sperm storage, the queen can fertilize her eggs for the rest of her life. The fertilized queen then uses the sperm stored in her spermatheca, an internal sperm storage organ, to fertilize her eggs over the course of her lifetime. This stored sperm allows her to produce both worker ants and future reproductive ants, new queens and males, as needed. The initial brood of worker ants helps in establishing the new colony by foraging, caring for new eggs, and expanding the nest. This intricate mating process ensures genetic diversity and the continued survival and expansion of ant colonies across various environments. The queen initially lays a small number of eggs, which hatch into the first generation of worker ants. These workers are vital as they take over the duties of foraging, brood care, and nest maintenance, allowing the queen to focus solely on laying eggs. Over time, the colony grows, and the queen can produce both new worker ants and reproductive allets, ensuring the continuation of the species. This complex and highly efficient mating process enables ants to colonize diverse environments, ensuring their survival and proliferation across the globe. The synchronization, chemical communication, and division of labor involved highlight the remarkable adaptability and social organization of ants. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.